What's up? What's up? All right. So today is gonna be a little bit different. So if you guys know, well, the OGs know, right? So today we're gonna do something a little bit different for this back day. We're gonna do a mimic of a John Brown's back workout. I can't think of his name. It's Jim or John, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Look at him right here, right? This dude was a magnificent person when he was in his heyday in his prime, right? Pretty much what we're gonna do, we're gonna mimic it. What he did was a lot of supersets, right? But it was not just a supersets, it was how he did it, how he performed it at a high, high level, being able to just attack that weight. So we're gonna try to mimic it as much as possible. Gym pretty empty today, it's Saturday, so we're gonna see how we get it, bro. start off with is these behind the neck presses which is honestly my favorite I, I got excited when I seen he did these right to start off his workout he would start with these and he would go to like a pull down or like a pull a close pull motion so I'm gonna try to superset with like a reverse grip it's a first so yeah it's a lot of supersetting so here we go Yep, right there. Uh. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> okay, let's go. be real. 10, 15 minutes into the workout, I can already tell this is about to whoop me like how, unfortunately, Mike Tyson got whooped on. But, hey, he a legend, man. He an OG, bro. Shoot. 58 years old, still sticking and moving. 90 from, bro. How many 58 year olds you know in your neighborhood doing that right now? I'm pretty sure not a lot. So, but that's how this workout is pretty much whooping me right now, especially when you're not automatically used to supersetting. Most bodybuilders is, some of them aren't, and I'm one of those. You already know the next set, you gotta go up. Take it up. walk with this one man if you ain't used to this bro you better slow it down you know what i'm saying like you on the highway with it because if not it will slow you down you gonna crash <laughs> hey one thing i want to say bro i can see why people say what they say about our generation man when it comes to this uh gym stuff they say like oh we don't got the density got the same type of atmosphere which we don't Bro, if I'm like, if I'm being all the way real, I see why they physiques look better than ours. You know what I'm saying? Like John Brown, bro, bro, his stuff was immaculate. And to be natural and to be able to do that, you don't see that too often nowadays. Except for me, right? And a couple other people. But we few and far in between. So it's like, hey man, they gon' they gonna find out. We about to bring this old school back, man. And they gonna be wondering, how did he do that? What? 
He passed the drug test. Oh my God, I'm, I, I'm broke. I can't pay my bills. I should have just left him alone. Yeah, that's gonna happen next, so. But John Brown, bro, shout out to you, man. You really go for this one. Like, super setting all the way through and back. Yeah, two exercises, three exercises at once, triceps. Bro, and then you increase in every weight. That's the difference, bro. A lot of y'all ain't gonna be able to do that. Now so. we're about to switch it up, go regular grip now. Still super set with the uh, pull downs behind the neck. The difference between the regular grip, you're gonna feel it all in that middle. Not so much the lower, but more so the middle now. So now we really about to hit it. people in 2024 today's generation they ain't gonna believe this bro they ain't gonna believe me you uh all the other ones who who was my guy uh i think in the midwest casey my guy up north uh brandon you know what i'm saying all of the dope naturals bro and then my, of course the og mike mike o'hearn and titan you know they gonna look at us and think that we full of it but nah it's really real bro we can really do this naturally it's just a certain amount of people they gonna look at us and then try to put like a level you know what i'm saying put some limitations just because they not doing it which hey that's that's on them bro shoot if you can't uh, uh amount to it hey that's all fine with me because you got people like me larry brandon casey uh who else Derek. you know what i'm saying my i ain't forgot about d you know he go crazy he's the black prince frank zane that's what i call him because he's like a black prince but he got that frank zane structure you know what i'm saying so yeah and then me I'm just good. I'm just fitting in where I fit in, bro. As one of the top ones in this industry, because when you look at all the ones, yeah, you see them, and then you see me, and then people still call me like, "Oh, bro, did you start taking stuff yet?" I'm like, "No," and, I'm, and I never will. You know what I'm saying? Because there's ways to do it without that. You know, simple as that. So, yeah. so when I be talking mess on camera, this is pretty much what I be referring to. You got all these little 17 year olds that sitting on their phones, bro, just waiting on their best friends to hype them up. Like, if you don't get your little, bro, I ought to just grab you by the broccoli top hair of yours and just ring, and just ring, bro, seriously. I ought to ring you like a washcloth. And this is why people call me what they call me, but I don't care, sure. So, yeah. But this is why I've always been able to improvise, things like that. Because I'm about to super, I was about to superset with the, uh, with the caper rolls and the pull downs, right? So, granted, you know. Back in the day when, when uh, Brown and them was training, they didn't have as many distractions, right? Meaning they didn't have as many kids in the gym just messing around. They was really getting to it. You know, nowadays it's, it's much different. So, mm, yeah, but it still ain't no excuse though, bro. It's still not no excuse at the same time. It's like, we gotta, uh, and that's where I got the two a days from, you know? And it wasn't training fully twice a day, it was just, me simply starting my workout in the morning and finishing up at night because sure enough you got all these people who just want to come in sit on the machines like it's a community club like it's a community center and it's like no it don't work that way bro like ugh. so it ain't me me being arrogant or cocky somewhat i am because i'm just telling like it is and those are people who don't like it which you know that's on them so it's gonna be a little tough but we still make it work when you can't really superset, this is what you do. You take your reps, hold it. Preferably two to five seconds, right? Slow, 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 slow. Bam. You know, even though it wasn't as I expected it to be, as far as like trying to go full on supersets with every uh, workout, every individual workout. It was still cool though, because it's like that momentum, bro. It's like, you don't see people doing that today, bro. I'm so serious. You'll only see like one or two or three people, right? Oh, it's almost time, okay. But you only see a few selected hand of people doing it 
they training like that. Even bodybuilders, powerlifters, it don't matter. Natural or enhanced, that just bang, 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 right? And I get it, right? That extra weight, that extra sets is like, is gonna really do something to you, you know what I'm saying? Bro, hold on. This dude look at me one more time, bro. He gonna, he gonna catch himself not making it home, so seriously. Anyways. Let me take the headphones off of this one. Cause I wanna go into detail. Anyways, like I said, you gotta really just have that extra mindset, bro. Cause it's like if you don't, bro, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna whoop you. It's gonna whoop you wholeheartedly. Like if you don't got that bang, 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 it's gonna be hard for you to overcome. So now my evaluation of it, one out of ten, I get that thing like an eight point three, right? Because if I was able to do it fully, wholeheartedly, then it would be a different story. But since I had to work around a lot of distractions and vultures and them computers, it's like, yeah, you gotta take that into account too. Cause like I said, 2024, it ain't like how it was back in the 70s and the 80s, right? Cause I see the difference, it's a whole nother level, bro. And that's a level that nobody's not trying to go to, right? So when they see somebody like me, they like, no, don't take it there, please don't. You gonna make me feel like a wuss. My wife already watching you. Like, yeah, it's that type of stuff, bro. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why when you be, uh, when I be showing y'all my screenshots of all these weirdos just watching me in the background, bro, y'all see what I'm talking about, man? It's like, it's it's foolproof, man. And they mad, but hey, that's them. That's them. Shoot, they can cry themselves in the car. You know what I'm saying? Cry themselves asleep for all I care. Because check this out. You mess with somebody like us, it ain't going to last for you, bro. It ain't going to work out for you. I remember I heard 50 Cent say this back in the day. Haters that love it, the underdog is on top, bro, you know? And they don't like when the underdog is on top because that, that means they at the bottom, you know? They can't mess with you in no shape, way, or form. So, yeah, that's it. But back to the workout, evaluation. That thing was hard, bro, like so good. I know I didn't capture much footage because like I said, we working around vultures, right? But it's cool, we still gonna get it in because we don't let nothing stop us, you know? And granted, you ain't gonna see a lot of people training like that in today's age, in today's generation. They gonna soften it up, you know what I'm saying? Just so they can look cute, right? Which is, you know, that's today's world. They wanna look cute for the next person that don't even know nothing about them, don't even care about them, don't even think about them. Cause guess what? They got their own life. How that work? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, and maybe that's just me. And it's crazy, right? I'm 30. How is it that I think, bro, like this and y'all don't? It's just the most mind blowingest thing to me, bro. Like, so seriously. <laughs> but you know, that's why we at where we at and somebody gonna ask us for a job in a little bit, you know? So just take note, bro. If you one of those, just know somebody gonna ask you for a job in a hot second, right? So just get ready for it. Cause you got the right to pay them six cents an hour. <laughs> no, I'm just playing somebody. <laughs>